Uh, Dave, I want to ask you, what's the biggest difference between Joint Sword A when we saw back in May and Joint Sword B that we just saw on Monday? So I think on the one hand, the one striking thing of Joint Sword B versus A is actually that the dura duration of Joint Sword B was quite short, only around 12 hours. And so I think that, you know, in the, on the one hand, that's maybe less of a concern because you get into questions if it's a multi-day exercise about whether or not it's really a de facto blockade and whether it's going to interfere with international shipping in the Taiwan Strait and Taiwan's ability to import critical goods. What was more concerning about Joint Sword B versus A, though, was the involvement of the China Coast Guard. I mean, we all saw this photo that was tweeted out of the China Coast Guard literally encircling Taiwan. And, you know, that is consistent with Chinese actions over the last couple of years, which is to um, use its law enforcement or lawfare toolbook to essentially try to assert that this is a domestic law enforcement matter, that the Taiwan Strait is not international waters, it's an internal waterway, and that you know it controls the airspace and the seas around Taiwan. What do you think is the most likely scenario that China would use to take control of Taiwan? Is it a blockade or is it still the more traditional amphibious landing? I think that most observers believe that it's not a blockade and then China stops and doesn't do anything. I think that many believe that it's a blockade that rolls into these other elements like you know, joint firepower strikes on Taiwan, um, softening up the island for an amphibious assault. So I don't believe that Beijing is going to implement a blockade, sit back and wait until Taiwan uh, buckles, because I think that one of the conclusions that it has drawn, especially after Russia's invasion of Ukraine, is the time is not on its side. Um, that all things being equal, it wants this to happen before the United States can potentially intervene, before uh, the United States can put together a coalition to levy sanctions and other measures against China. So, you know, I don't think it's an either or question anymore. I think it's a question of sequencing and timing of the various elements.